Today we're at beautiful Kahuvai Bay and for the first time ever we are kicking off our coral restoration project with the community. It's incredibly exciting to be able to plant corals with our community partners um, to restore this beautiful bay to what it once was. Today we've brought live corals and we've learned how to fragment those corals and we're taking those fragments and we're able to outplant them into Kahuai Bay. Kahuai Bay is a place where it has natural resilience and it is set up with good health because it is a sheltered bay, because the people of this place have been caring for it for generations. And so we see our work here today as being able to strengthen that abundance and that resilience. You know, the work that we're doing here at Ka'upulahu, it helps to set up this reef to be more able to thrive and survive in the face of climate change. So as ocean temperatures might rise, we know that these corals will be in greater abundance. The reef itself will be stronger. And so we have a greater chance of resilience. Um, so we were out collecting what we call corals of opportunity, which are fragments of coral rolling in the sand that without intervention wouldn't really survive anyway. So we collect them, bring them up to shore and fragment them with specialized saws to help put them in smaller pieces. So we collect them and cut the bottom skeleton piece off so that we can just get the, the top tissue layer here. And so by cutting them on all sides into this small shape, it helps to accelerate the tissue growth. And once they're fragmented, they'll go back out and get outplanted onto the reef in an array pattern. And by doing that in about a year, uh, because corals grow one to two centimeters a year, all of those fragments together will have fused and we'll have about a 12 centimeter diameter coral colony. The reason we're excited about the launch of this coral restoration project is Hawaii's coral reefs are facing unprecedented and growing threats. And we do think that coral restoration like this can be a key part of a successful strategy moving forward to how to uh, conserve, preserve, restore the reefs of Hawaii for future generations. Coral restoration, I, I often think of what would a forest be like without trees and what would a coral reef be like without corals. And this area, unfortunately, we lost some of our corals in 2015 when they bleached. The ocean was really warm and we lost about 44% of the corals in this area. One of the reasons why today is so special is that this entire project to restore the corals has been designed by the community with the Nature Conservancy. So they chose what species, they chose the location and the methods that we're testing through this project. And that collaboration where the community members, the people of place, the families of place are designing the experiment and answering their questions um, really signifies to me an important way to approach research and collaboration with community here in Hawaii. My great, great tutu, uh, Mahiko, lived here. And then my dad's mother, Grandma Kiola, she was born here as well. So my grandmother was born here. She was uh, like Hanai, adopted by Grandma, Tutu Grandma Kahiko. And they were the residents of this place back from the 1800s, late 1800s. Coral is, you know, in our kumulipo, that was the first thing of creation. And from that, you had life come into this ocean. Um, and that's what we were trying to restore because we did have a very bad, you know, natural impact from the tsunami in 2011. And then the coral bleaching, I think it was like from maybe 20, what? 15, 16, you know, and we don't really visually see the impact unless we're underwater. This historical event or project that's taking place of recreating, rebuilding a new village under the water for our marine life, for our ia, is vital to know that my grandson, my granddaughter, and my daughter is helping now to restore life in this bay that has been life for generations, not mine, but prior. I mean, if we go back 13 generations, that bay is what has provided. I'm very proud 
I'm very grateful, very grateful to be able to be a part of this. We don't do anything to address the coral dieback, the global warming issue, then we fail in managing the resource. The hope I have is, I don't know if it's gonna happen in my lifetime, but the hope is for future generations. And everything that we do, KMLC, the Kupuna, all the families that are involved here, we're doing it for the next generation or the multi-generations in the future.